Hey, hey, good morning. I am at my work and I am still riding the Honda Rebel 500 2018 version and the stoplight is at my favor. A little backstory. I've had this motorcycle with me for three weeks now. This is my last day on it. <laughs> but thank you so much Honda Philippines for the bonding time and the many dates that I've had with this Honda Rebel 500. As usual, I've taken it on a city test. I've taken it through EDSA. I took it on the highway. I took it to my friend in Mexico. I did all the usual Gakimoto tests. It's now time for the Gakimoto Mango Review. People are probably wondering why it's a mango review. Well, mangoes are my favorite fruit. They're really sweet and Pinoy mangoes are different. I would have called it the Lanzones Review, but it takes too long to spell. So, it's time to drop some mangoes. Let's get it on. Uh, suspension. Suspension test. Ooh, ooh. Cradling my ass. Woohoo. Suspension is pretty good. Let's get the mango review rolling and starting with styling and aesthetics. Uh, look at that. Look at that. The look. It's such a pretty bike. I think. It's sinking in. I mean, when I first saw it, I wasn't sure about how it looked like because it's a modern cruiser. And you know what? I look at it now and I think, damn, she looks pretty good on photo. Had a couple of like photo shoots with a Honda Rebel 500 and I think the look is so damn hot. The lines, I like the slim, it's got a slim looking design but still retaining a very macho look. It's a fine, fine looking cruiser. This modern looking design, it's a modern cruiser. Well, hot damn, it's a winner on my book. And minus this part here, I like that it's a round dash display but I do find it odd that in the middle of this pretty dash display that looks very simple you have like a rectangular thing I wish they just made it the entire circle right yeah a little attention to detail also minus the big fugly signal lights yeah okay I give the Honda Rebel 500 oh also it comes with probably just one color option oh what's going on here Anyway, the Honda Rebel 2018 here in the Philippines only has one color option which comes in this matte silver or gray. Yeah. Putting all that together, I give you four ripe sweet mangoes. Now moving on to features. Uh, not counting the super cute phone mount which I bought <laughs> on Lazada for 170 pesos. Okay, done with work on the way home and moving on to features having a look at the features of this motorcycle i give it a b plus a b plus for blah boring and basic hey but you know i think they wanted it to look simple so if i look at the dash display right now we have a speedometer a clock thank you god a neutral light fuel gauge trip a trip a and trip b and then total the total odometer it's missing a taco <laughs> you know me i like the tachometer i like the gear shift indicator what else have we got here we have like a light with a with a passing light over there Ooh, there it's got your basic horn a kill switch and ooh, hazard light like why okay that's a additional feature and also the bike is loaded with ABS so as basic as the features are it's like basic but not it could be your basic bitch but it's not I give it 2.5 mangoes 2.5 mangoes and the 0.5 is a green mango now moving on to ergonomics and comfort I think my ass 
is happy. Like, it's a very nice seat. It's like a bucket seat. Very comfortable, even on the long ride. The pillion seat is a little bit small, but maybe this was not meant to be uh, a riding in tandem bike. <laughs> so my ass is quite happy with this. My legs are quite happy. The heat is after an hour of riding and like in traffic, it's like stop, go, stop, go traffic. My legs are happy, the vegetables are fresh. <laughs> no, nothing burnt. If you're a guy, you're not gonna have boiled eggs. Plus, you know, height and weight. The seat height, 27.1 inches is very nice. The riding position, it's very cruiser. My arms are relaxed relaxed over here my legs and because it's not you know the the for it's not forward controls it doesn't have forward controls it's pretty much got set in the mid overall in terms of comfort and ergonomics the honda rebel 500 2018 version gets a whopping whopping five sweet ripe mangoes an ergonomic cruiser for someone my height Again, I am 5'2", and all my friends with like short people problems are very happy with their Honda Rebels. Now let's move on to performance. The performance of the Honda Rebel 500, how was it? How did it perform in the city? You saw me lane split. How's the performance of the Honda Rebel 500? I like to look at it in many different aspects. First of all, I would also like y'all to manage your expectations. This motorcycle is a modernized cruiser okay <laughs> cruiser you know but i'm telling you guys about managing expectations this is a cruiser vibe i mean you don't want this motorcycle to go very fast because then you know all the drag with this cruiser style position is just gonna fall on your chest all the wind drag goes straight to the chest if you think my speed demons are gonna be happy, let's manage your expectations. Although, let's ask my friend in Mexico what the top speed is. Viva la Mexico! Vamos! Hola! Soy amiga de Gakimoto! of the Honda Rebel 500 but from what I've seen on the internet I've seen it go as fast as 170 kilometers per hour my Mexicana friend has failed <laughs> but not bad not bad I'm looking at it now performance wise look oh, there's acceleration I have no trouble speeding up and overtaking in the city. Not bad for a cruiser. I like the way the engine feels. Again, it feels very solid. All that I expect from a Honda, um, the throttle response is very good. It's also very forgiving. Therefore, I would also definitely recommend this as a beginner's motorcycle. It's chill. And even if I like aggressive, we have to manage our expectations. It's a very chill motorcycle. So, for performance of the Honda Rebel 500, I give it four ripe and sweet mangoes. Boo, yeah. Handling of the Honda Rebel 500. Okay, how does it handle in the city? It lane splits like a friggin' boss. I'm gonna show you a bunch of traffic clips that I went through on my different rides. It's just, it's, 
it's such a treat, you know, it's such a treat to be so confident on a motorcycle where I can flat my feet flat on the ground and I can just be here. Holy shit! No fucking way. You've got to be freaking kidding me. Oh my god. Damn. Damn. Hot freaking damn. Well, I am glad I am on a motorcycle. Holy shit. I am very happy with the handling of the Honda Rebel 500 and though I didn't take it out for a ride on the twisties I can tell like on my favorite turn on the Paranaque Speedway it felt really good for a cruiser so handling for a city bike a cruiser I would definitely recommend this as an everyday ride with my happy vegetables and my chill legs the Honda Rebel 500 for handling Sweet mangoes! Woohoo! For a total of four mangoes. Good job, Honda Rebel 500. You met so much expectations. The SRP of this is 375,000 pesos. Would I buy one? The answer is yes, I totally would. If I was in the market for a cruiser, I think it's a great bike. I think it's a great bike for beginners. I think it's a great bike for every day, for daily use. I think it would be a chill bike for the long rides out. I think it's got sufficient speed to cruise on the highway, even if you're going with like on the LX and the SC Techs. I think you'll be fine. And I think it looks friggin' good. I think it looks like a very hot bike. And I cannot wait for the color options from Honda. And if I were to get one of these, I would definitely fit it with an aftermarket exhaust. I could use that exhaust to be a little bit louder because it's a low motorcycle and, you know, sometimes you just want to be a little bit more heard if you're not super seen because it's a low bike. So, I would just like to say thank you so much for watching my Mango review. Again, this is just my opinion. Peace out. Yo! Whoa!